South Carolina picked seventh preseason SEC poll. They won only six games in late play last year. Frank Martin building a team to take on the Kentuckys of the world. For the first time, 80 years, South Carolina improves to 10 and 0. Good things brewing in Columbia. Their best start since the early 1930s. This game cut team is good. This is not a fluke. Welcome back to Nashville SEC Basketball Media Days. Coverage continues as we carry you through five hours on this Wednesday afternoon. Of course, this is the city that will host once again the SEC Championship Tournament at the end of the season. Dari Noka, Pat Bradley, Damian Fishback, and a couple of Gamecock guards with us, Dwayne Notice and Darius Thornwell. Uh, guys, thanks for stopping in. So Darius, come on, he doesn't think we TV people can do anything. <laughs> oh, he sits God. down, he goes, wait a minute, I thought you guys read everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, give us some credit here, Thornwell. Come on, we don't need every word written for us. No, you know, I thought, you know, when the show by the end or something like that, you know, you may look at the screen or something and come on. And read <laughs> we say by, so by the end of the show, it yeah. looks like we just spitball. Yeah. Yeah. It's, really it's so fluent that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I That's because we're good, man. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so, so fluent. That's right. Let's go to your team. I know last year, you guys, a program mark and wins with 25, but you fall short of that NCAA tournament. Go back to that day, and you thought you might have been in, and you find out you're not. Take us through that that Sunday process for you. Um, well, we were just all sitting in the locker room uh, watching the, uh, the little March Madness thing. Yeah. And, um, I remember the, uh, I think the, the the tournament thing got leaked out on Twitter, yeah. and you know somebody had it, but we still didn't think it was true because it was still going on TV. So we was like, no, somebody made it, maybe it messed up or something mm. like that. So um, <clears throat> when it, when it came all the way, went all the way through, you know, coach came in and talked to us and and told us, you know, that we didn't make it and stuff like that. And you know everybody was hurt, uh, the seniors was hurt, you know, since it was their last season and they thought. Because after we beat Arkansas in the uh, regular season, we thought we was in uh, no matter what. Uh, we just didn't know where we was going to be placed or what seed, but we thought we was locked in. And so um, when we found out that we wasn't in, you know, we was hurt. And, uh, you know, we would look back on the season and we let a couple of games slip and, you know, missed out on our opportunity. So how long after that point did you guys get together? Two scenes. You guys are vets. You guys have been through it all, been through last year. How long did it take for you to put that behind you, or did it ever get behind you mm -hmm. and start to refocus for the season? Um, it didn't take long. You know, we, well, we played the NIT, you know, um, and then so after the NIT, we took a little break. You know, everybody took time off, and, you know, by that time, you know, it was May, so some guys went home, everybody separated. So when, when everybody came back in June, you know, for, for summer workouts and stuff, um, that's when we all got together and, you know, you know we're going to uh, we're going to we set the goal that we're going to achieve it. And, you know, we never it never went away from us that that we didn't make the tournament. You know, uh, it wasn't the fact that they didn't select us. It was the fact that uh, we gave up some games. You know, uh, we um, we put we put ourselves in that situation. You know, we left the thing up for the committee to make a decision when we had it, we had it in our own hands when we lost to Missouri and lost to Mississippi State and lost to Georgia three times. But, you know, that we hurt ourselves, so we can't yeah. blame nobody but ourselves. You know, Dwayne, I've always loved your basketball game. Good physical size guard, ability to shoot it and get to the basket. But you, you haven't always been a starter. You've been in the starting lineup, sometimes out of it. How will your role change this year as a senior and a leader on this team? I think, you know, my role has progressed. Just like you said, being a senior, um, I got to be more vocal. I got to lead by example. And, um, you know, whether I'm starting to come off the bench, that's up to the coach and the coaching staff and um, whatever they see fit as the best possible option for me and how I could best possibly help this team. And um, whatever role I'm you know, assigned to, I feel like it's my job uh, as a student athlete to do the best I can to fill that, that role. So whether I'm going to be starting to come off the bench, I want to do what I can to help best prepare our team to achieve the goal of making the tournament. Great attitude. Yeah, you know, Michael Carrero brought a lot to this team, too, in terms of physicality, in terms of mm -hmm. effort, in terms of leadership. Uh, and obviously, 
that he's got now. Who's the next guy? I mean, is it one of you guys? Who's the guy that's going to get in uh, into the guy's faces when it needs to be said? Who's going to say the hard things when nobody else may want to? I think, you know, we have a, a core nucleus of guys that are coming back, you know, Sundarius and myself, and I think two other guys that have been here um, since the beginning, since we were struggling um, to help uh, turn this program around. So um, I think to answer your question, we have guys that bring different things to the table. Um, you know, Sundarius is a great leader. He does things the right way consistently. I feel like I'm a great leader. I think he's more vocal than I am. But we have guys that can fulfill different uh, uh, roles when it comes to leadership. So you've been with Coach now for a few years. You're telling me you haven't adopted that scowl? None of you are now getting in the face like Coach Martin does? Because I think that's what he wants to know. I Who's going to be that guy on the court? I, think, I mean, you look like nice guys. You're great smile, but come on. No, I think uh, – I think I'll be the one. Well, not necessarily like, like, coach. like I have no. to like step up into it, but I think, you know, it's kind of in me to, you know, I, I did some of it last year too, you know, when, but it's all of us, you know, we all lead each other. Yeah. There ain't no one person getting everybody faces. You know, if I mess up, Dwayne may get in my face and yell at me. Or we all Dwayne, take accountability. You know, we all hold mm -hmm. each other responsible yeah. and, and hold each other accountable. Love it. Yeah. Guys, appreciate you coming by. So Darius doing well. Dwayne Otis, South Carolina, 25 wins a year ago. We'll see what's in store for this team coming up uh, in next month when the season begins, yeah. November 11th.